Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Jeremy Eden here. Hey, I've just sat down for an hour with Andang, who's on right now on Discord. We've been talking about the new Lord of the Rings game that's been announced by Athlon Games and Middle Earth Enterprises, in addition to talking about Lotro as well. And if that new game will have an impact on Lotro, we talked about state and the future of Lotro, and we were just geeking and nerding out about Lord of the Rings and Lotro in general. And that is an hour long video that's coming out really, really soon. So to give you guys a little teaser, here's something that me and Andang are gonna do. And just to prove that he's here, why don't you say something, Andang? Yes, I am here. The video that he talked about did happen. And I'm not being held against here against my will. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna do something fun, uh, you know, just to get things going. We're gonna play a game of uh, Would You Rather, and this is the Lord of the Rings Online edition for Would You Rather, so I'm gonna be reading off a bunch of weird, random, you know, off-the-cuff questions, and both of us are gonna state our answers and just explain a little bit real quickly why we picked those answers, and then we'll move on. And uh, after this, hang on tight, that round table will come to you real soon. Are you ready to go, Ending? I'm ready. Okay, first question. Would you rather play Lotro or watch Lord of the Rings? Play Lotro. No question. Play Lotro for me, too. Watching Lord of the Rings is great, but once every holiday season. Yeah, play I, I've seen Lord of the Rings enough times. Lotro still has new content coming out, so definitely Lotro. Yeah. The real question is, extended edition or non-extended edition? Always extended. Awesome. All right, next question. Would you rather annoy Gandalf or annoy Elrond in Lotro? Elrond. Uh, because he <laughs> annoys us by having him having us come back and talk to him all the time. Same. That's the same for me, man. That's the one I was going to go for. Elrond's quests is always like, every time you get a quest, go see Elrond, you're like, oh, something's coming. Something's up. He's always up to no good. And his quest is always sent us around the four corners of Middle Earth. So, yeah, agree with that. And oh, yeah, wrong. Next one. Would you rather Lotro upgrade its graphics or produce content faster? That's a tough one. Um, if they upgrade their graphics, it would need to be a substantial upgrade, not just like what they've been doing for the Avatar update. Um, so if it was a substantial update, I'd choose graphics probably. Um, I'd much rather there be better graphics, and I'd be willing for them to take a year off just to get better graphics for the game. Awesome. Yeah, that's that's for me too. I, I If they redo the graphics in a way that's that, that really changes the game, that would entice me to go back and roll a new character and see the game again from the beginning areas all the way up to the current content in a whole new light with the new graphics which is why that in itself could be, you know, although it's old content, you'll see it in a whole new light. So, wow, who would have thought? Three, three questions and all of us three same answers. This has got to <laughs> change. Next up, would you rather buy Eowyn a drink or buy Arwen a drink? You first on this one. That That's a tough one. I, I'm going to buy Eowyn a drink. I think she is awesome as a character, and for her, the role that she played in, you know, the Battle of the Pelner Fields, and uh, I'm a big fan of her brother, so maybe buying her a drink will get me closer to her brother and get enlisted into the Rohirrim, so that could be a good idea. Lotro's Eowyn, Peter Jackson's Arwen. <laughs> Lotro's Eowyn is That's so That's a good cool. one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next one. Would you rather walk into Mordor or fly into Mordor? <laughs> That's a tough question. Um, I think I would rather fly, um, assuming that that meant that there would actually be flying mechanics in Lotro. Um, right. Just for that one part of the world, I d we don't need to be flying like on Nazgul above the Shire or anything, but flying above Mordor would be pretty cool. Same answer as well. I've walked into Mordor. I did it on stream. It was... 
normal didn't feel like anything you know <laughs> even yeah. though that's that's a big deal i mean hey we got eagles and this has been made of it's been joked about for years and years and years we never used eagles so i'd really like to get an eagle and just fly into mortar technically Next our characters oh. have ridden on eagles twice in lotro we just haven't seen it seeing them yet um, so i would love to see it i i don't want to be carried in their talons though i want to be like on their back with the yeah. saddle <laughs> Gandalf style. Gandalf style, that's right. Alrighty, next one. Would you rather do big epic battles all day or skirmishes all day? Skirmishes, and I have many times. Same here. I, well, big battles. Um, I liked them, and then uh, I stopped liking them. That's all I'm going to say about those. I liked them I like the concept on the beta. Didn't like them when they were released because I thought they were going to be polished more. But I've liked them more since as I've played them in groups. Uh, mm -hmm. Playing epic battles in groups definitely makes them be way better than solo. I guess just just to give big battles just a little love. Um, retaking Polargar is at least the best one out there. I yeah. would do that, no problem. All right, next one. Would you rather pug a Lotro raid or say, screw it, I'm not doing it in a pug? I'd rather pug uh, just because I don't have a raiding kin right now, so I kind of have to. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I'd rather pug. But usually me pugging means that I'm playing it with my audience, so it's not really a full pug. So, <laughs> But yeah, I'd rather well, that's pug. Nice. Yeah, that's nice. You get to play, you know, with 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 your friends and, and your folks that watch the channel. I I would uh, I would rather pug it. Uh, I'm a big fan of pugging, especially in Lotro. Some of the best moments I've had has all been through pugs, and it's through pugs that I actually met one of the best kinships ever. You know, they put out a call, and I said, okay, I'll I'll be brave and go. And they liked what I did, and I became a member of the kin afterwards. So very cool. Hey, good things happen in pugs. All right, next one. Would you rather Stable Master or Mithril Coin? Definitely Stable Master, because Mithril <laughs> Coin costs money. But I do both more often than I'd want to. Yeah, I, I would Stable Master. Um, we in the in the beginning, Stable Masters. You know, we, if you didn't have the Swift Travel Unlock, you'd take the long scenic route, and that's usually a good time for me to Alt Tab and browse Facebook or something. So I did enjoy that downtime. <laughs> And then when Mithril Coin came out, there there were times, especially in Mordor, where I felt like I'm just going, you know, back and forth, back and forth. And uh, the Mithril Coin seemed like it was designed to play a big part in Mordor. And I did use a few, which I should not have done, you know, but oh well. Stable Pastor's my answer. I know someone that refuses to fast travel in any game they play. Oh, wow. In any game they play. <laughs> I don't know wow. how they do it. Um, they fast traveled once. Uh, they claimed that they were feeling ill that day, and that's why. Um, but uh, <laughs> they they just refused to fast travel because they they just enjoy to explore the landscape. Um, at least in you know big open world games like right. uh, MMOs and RPGs and things like that. That's awesome. I mean that that's incredible. Like it's I, some I can only see the same. Yeah, it is. Like, I can only see the same scenery, like, four times maximum. And then, you know, after a while, it just gets, like, we've I've been through it. Yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, next question. Would you rather have a barbecue with Sam or go on an adventure with Bilbo? Go on an adventure with Bilbo. Bilbo's mm -hmm. cool. Even old Bilbo. Super cool. That's true. I, I would like to have a barbecue with Sam. Uh, I'm a big foodie, and I just think Sam has a lot of, you know, old school recipes up his belt. Oh, man. And I just want to taste his sausages and uh, <laughs> eat out of his pan, you know? Um, I mean, I'd probably yeah. still be eating good with Bilbo. Like, I don't I don't see a world where when you're with a hobbit, you're not eating good. So that That's true. And he's probably going to have a lot of elven food, too. Well, you know, his love for Rivendell. See, that might be a negative. Too. That might be a negative. <laughs> you don't like Elven food? <laughs> I don't know yet, but I'd have to experiment. Awesome. All right. Uh, next question. Would you rather redo the Moria expansion or redo the Mordor expansion? 
Mordor. Um, I'm not sure why yet. I'll I'll let you answer and then I'll I'll get back to it. Uh, I'm my choice is I'm gonna do the Moria expansion. The Mines of Moria is my favorite Lotro expansion, and this is gonna shock a lot of people, but I've been consistent with that answer. I love the Mines of Moria because when you go in for the first time and you how big and dark and and the the storyline you know you you go in there and you're trying to help these dwarves reclaim your home and you get to explore and when you, when it comes to the PVE the instance cluster was fantastic I had a lot of great moments in in Moria and then when you come out and you get into Love Lorien for the first time you're like oh what a journey that was and I spent two months in Moria and the first month was entirely on foot because I didn't have the reputation to buy a goat Torrens Hall so I will always remember that that epic I two months i spent a year in mordor and i want there to be less quests and also <laughs> them to just fix the uh first area i feel like it's too big of a jump at the start and it should be should have been more gradual to get to that which apparently they're going to do soon um oh nice and also just the whole first area quests i feel like they could have done a lot more interesting things with to get you really into the expansion and i know a lot of players that just stopped playing the expansion and uh, didn't start again until they saw my videos and were like, oh, there, there's really interesting quests. I'll, I'll keep playing then, I guess. But uh, that first area, I feel like, really needs needs a revamp already in, in Mordor. Awesome. Cool. Still won't change my answer. <laughs> I'll probably go back when they, <laughs> when they do revamp Moria. Uh, sorry, when they revamp Mordor the same way they revamped Moria, then I may you know, level a second alt through. Yeah. Alrighty, awesome. Next question. Would you rather visit New Zealand, the home of Middle Earth, or visit the Standing Stone game offices to see the game being worked on? New Zealand. Hmm. I I just uh, have always wanted to go there. Um, I haven't always wanted to go to the Standing Stone games offices. <laughs> um, although, Boston is one of my favorite cities, so... Uh, it's kind of a trade-off there, but uh, definitely New Zealand. I've been to Boston before. Um, Boston's awesome. It's probably the favorite, my most favorite place I've ever been. Um, but I definitely want to go to New Zealand. Awesome. Uh, yeah, this one I I thought long and hard, even as I was creating this question. I want to go to New Zealand and and see all those locations and you know just just smell the dirt and and you know at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am, am a huge MMORPG fan, and, and I'd love to go into a studio like Standing Stone Games, formerly Turbine, of course, and just see the process, see how it's being done, understand studios, because it's something that I want to do in the future. You know, my, my, my big, big dream is to make my own game, and I just want to see how people run things, you know? So talk yeah. to the devs, interview them, and... Yeah, so it's a hard one, but I'm going to go with Visit New Zealand. <laughs> I mean, both would be awesome. Like, it to me, it's like 51, 49%. Like, it's a split yeah. like that. But but I have to say, seeing beautiful landscapes, I, I just got to put over seeing an office building. <laughs> <laughs> when you put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next up. Would you rather be the ring bearer on Mount Doom or join the host of the West at the gates? The host of the West, so I don't lose a finger. <laughs> you broke me. I, I did. I got him there. Post oh, in the comments such... on his video about how I got him there, everybody. Just post right now. Be like, and then got you. Ha ha. That is such a great answer. Um, you know, uh, I, I, I don't like the whole yeah hero thing. I would rather be standing surrounded by a group of people where you know i can easily just back into the shadow and you know, just <laughs> piggyback of somebody already taking down a, an orc and i can just finish him off you know it's easier that way instead of yeah. you know getting your finger bitten off yeah good one now statistically being part of the host of the west you probably have a higher chance of not making it out alive <laughs> but i'd have all my fingers so it'd be okay right and and if we go we go in like cool armor man dude. yeah cool it'd be a good way to go out Alrighty. <laughs> All right. Next one. Would you rather farm Lotro points or buy Lotro point? Most of the time, buy. Um, 
just because I just naturally get them. And so actually like farming for them instead of just naturally getting them, I just wouldn't like as much. I just, I really don't like grinding. Um, and that qualifies as it, uh, if, especially if you're just really trying to get them. So I'd, I'd rather just buy them, I think. Yeah, you're going to love the next question. Um, for me, uh, I when I first started uh, free-to-play player, uh, I was doing the grind, uh, and then I went VIP, so that sort of just you know made things more convenient. But that there was this one guy in my guild, I'm not sure if he's watching this, but Veritas, this is going down to you. This guy would create all farm up to like level 20 zones, earn about uh, 700 TP, at the yeah. time it was called turbine points then he'd delete that tune he'd create another tune and you know he went on and on and on and uh he bought every quest pack every piece of content by doing that over the span of like four years i think uh carvet from Lutra players news he actually worked out a system to where he could get i think it was a hundred Lotro points every hour or something like that. It was something ridiculous. Wow. Yeah. Um, where he just got a he he figured out how to get a speed run through one of the starter areas to maximize the amount of Lotro points you could get. So if you're interested in that, I'm pretty sure Carvet has a video about that somewhere. So you can probably find it, or just ask Carve on Twitter, and he'll probably show you where it is. Yeah, go for it. I mean, it's it's rewarding that you don't spend a single uh, penny, and and you still get all the content by doing it that way. It, so yeah. that's that's some dedication, man. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'll I'll buy my LP. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Um, all right, next question: Would you rather get rid of the legendary item grind, the essence grind, or the radiance 2.0 Mordor grind? Legendary item grind, um, just because I dealt with it a lot. Um, on my alts and things and i'd much rather at least you know mordor is kind of limited to mordor although they are starting to add it to future areas um but legendary items i just i really don't enjoy grinding for them and i i on one of my characters i tried my hardest and i don't remember if i succeeded or not to save my level 50 allies that i got right at the start and not get any new allies until i got to 100 to get the ones that you can imbue. Gosh. That's yeah. how much I don't like doing allies anymore. <laughs> I Ooh, love the imbuement I, system. I just don't like everything before that. So. Yeah, I agree. Uh, my answer would be exactly like yours if the imbuement system hadn't come out. And at that point, I had mm. already stocked up a lot of uh, first age allies for the good time. Point. So my alts were pretty good to go. I'm going to go with the acid system grind when that first came out. I... I was away for a bit because I had to go do my internship, and when I came back, I was so clueless, and I was just trying to understand. Oh, okay, gear sockets. Okay, what type of uh, at, you know stuff goes into the sockets, and then you got all these stats and stuff, and that just completely turned things around for me. And I bet you know, just going around and trying to uh, start farming all these different you know stacks of might essences and and uh, getting that solvent that you need, and I had no idea at the time that you could only get them from the store. Uh, but recently, you know, you can buy them in a Mithril coin, sell them off or whatever. So, yeah, that was a really big learning curve for me. Next one. Would you rather do daily quests or level an alt? Level an alt. Uh, for whatever reason, I just don't like daily quests. I think probably because it gets into grinding. And I'm here for the story. So I'd much rather just experience the story again on my alts than do daily quests again and again. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's also level and alt. I mean, daily quests, if there's a, a really nice, big, fat carrot at the end of that stick, like if I'm trying to unlock something or I know that's a really good kind of reputation reward for grinding dailies, then I'll you know try and be on that treadmill as long as possible. But most of the time, I'll be like, mm, I'll rather, you know, level and alt. Okay, next question. Would you rather Lotro make a new playable race or a new class new class for sure um i don't know what it would be but i'd much rather have a new class because what race you pick in lotro doesn't really make that much of a difference um yeah. it does add a little bit you know more story but it, it's not enough to warrant the entire new type of gameplay that a class would offer agreed 
same here. I would be excited for a new Lotro class just to see, um, you know, what creative ways they add to the game in terms of players being able to do things. What kind of roles are we looking at? I mean, it's it's all been standard so far. You know, every class, like the latest one, the last one we had was the Bjorning, uh, you know, tank, heals, DPS. So the next one coming, I want to see something more uh, different than that. You know, give us a special, a specialized class that is meant for a couple of things, and then you can go from there, or make a class that doesn't use the trait tree system that Lutra has, and just you know play with something new. Give us a reason to go. Holy cow, this is great! Um, and it's been so, like yeah. three years since Lutra's gotten a new class, something like that. So mm -hmm. it's it's time again. I feel like it's time, it's time. Alrighty, and uh, final one. Would you rather be on an episode of Casual Stroll to Mordor or Lotro Players? Oh my goodness, you're putting me in this spot. <laughs> um, well, I would much rather be on a Casual Stroll to Mordor episode because that would imply that there would be new Casual Stroll to Mordor episodes, whereas Lotro Players News is uh, continuing on with uh, still. So I'd, I'd much rather see CSTM come back than just be on Lotra Players News. Yeah. You you handle that with so much poise. Like, <laughs> yeah. I was about to pat myself on the back there for, for a, a tough question. Uh, but yeah, great answer. Um, for, for me, uh, I, I've i had the privilege of being invited to, you know, to, to be on both. Um, thanks, and Dang, for that. That was really fun, by the way, for Lotra Players Yeah, News. thanks for coming on. And uh, CSTM, it was their last episode, and I called in to say thanks and goodbye. And uh, for me, I I would, um, as Andang said, because Lotro Players News is always there, very consistent. You know you can rely on them week after week. Uh, CSDM, if they came back for one more episode, just like a reunion, get the band together kind of thing and just talk about the new Lord of the Rings MMO or, or just talk about Lotro. Yeah, I would love to be, you know, speaking to them or just listening to them. It's been a while. Or even just saying that they're, like, just do an episode of just the two of them walking into Mordor and talking about it. Right. They finally made it there. Like, that would be yeah. such a cool episode with yep. the topic of their podcast. It would be it would be cool. Absolutely. And and that wraps up our Would You Rather game here. Um, all about Lord of the Rings, all about Lotro. This, of course, is the teaser for that big round table we have coming out really, really soon, both here on my channel and on Andang's channel as well. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and I hope you hope you enjoyed the questions, man. And this was pretty fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Alrighty, we need to make more so videos together. We need we need we, to. We just we let's make it happen. <laughs> we talked about the collaboration, and now we're finally getting into it. So yeah, stay tuned for more. Um, for those of you guys out there, thanks so much for watching. Hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Head on over to Andex channel to see more Lord of the Rings content, more Lord of the Rings online content, and all that good stuff. And uh, we will see you at the round table video. Later all.